several times this summer when I've come down to visit Granny, she said, you've got to taste my cream corn. It tastes so good. You've just got to get a little bite of it. And I do, and it always tastes so good. So today she's going to show us how she makes cream style corn. It's not something that I make. I don't actually think I've ever made cream style corn, but I'm about to learn how from Granny. I have eat Granny's my whole life and it's always good. And Granny told me that her mother, Gazzy, made really good cream corn. And also my mama on the other side, Granny's mother-in-law, Marie. So did they make theirs the way you do? Uh, no, uh, Marie didn't. She just put a little butter in her corn. She didn't add any flour, but Mama added flour. And I guess one reason was so that she could make a bigger bowl of corn because she always had company to a lot of people to feed. So it, I was just trying to make mine what Mama did. And it turned out really good. You don't have to cut it too awful deep because you go back and scrape the, the rest of it after you get it. Get it cut. This pan here is really handy to scrape it off in. This is what makes it good when you get that scrapings like that off. She's just putting her some salt in there. Then she's gonna get her flour and it's, is this self-rising or all purpose? Uh, self-rising. Self-rising, I don't guess it would matter though. I think it's probably better with self-rising. And we've got... I'm just guessing at the flour. That looks like that's about two or three tablespoons. Probably. And we had five ears of corn. Pretty full, good-sized ears of corn. Now she's and probably... This, that Mama, was probably Mama, a cup of water. Mama did hers like this. So this is how Granny Gazzy did hers. So Granny's continuing that tradition just to work the flour into the liquid and the corn. I guess squeezing the corn helps some of the corn milk come out too. Yeah, uh, it squeezes the big kernels. And scraping the corn cob does, like Granny scraped Now on. let's turn this eye on here. Start melting the butter. So Granny's got some butter in the bottom of her pan there, probably a tablespoon, two tablespoons, maybe three tablespoons, I'd say two, two tablespoons. Now she's gonna put the corn and flour mixture in. This is quite a bit of corn, so it'll have to cook a while. Now will you stir it up or anything? And, yeah. Okay, I'll wait for you to come stir it up and then put the lid on it. 
I'll get you a big spoon just a minute. Well, I don't put the lid on it. I just okay. give me a spoon to, to stir it and help melt the butter. Okay, now we just let it cook. Uh -huh. It needs to come to a boil and then we'll uh, turn it down after it starts to a boil. Granny's got it all stirred up in the pot. And now we're gonna wait for it to come to a boil and then we're gonna turn it down and let it cook till it's done. I'll take the spoon out. I have to quit stirring it to let it boil. You can see it boiling now. Yeah. So it's already come to a boil. That didn't take long. And Granny said the key is you got to be really careful. You can turn it down. You don't want it boiling the whole time. But you got to be really careful while you're cooking it because you don't want it to scorch. And it would scorch very, very easily. Yeah. And after it... Uh Okay, we've been letting it cook for about 15 minutes, so now we're going to taste it and see what we think. Mm. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. The only thing it make it better is if we had a biscuit. Mm -hmm. Biscuit to go with it. It's I'm very good, though. The is you don't want to quit eating it. Yeah, once you start. Granny was telling me while we were waiting on it to cook that Granny Gazzy, when she would make her big bowls of cream-style corn, it would be almost overflowing to the point that if she had put one more spoonful, it would have overflowed. But she had so many people to feed. Granny had such a big family, and, and then there was company and relatives and cousins and family dropping by. She was a good cook, wasn't she? The best. But she's a pretty good cook, too. Oh, <laughs> I can't make biscuits like Mama could. You make some pretty good biscuits. so good. Everything she made was good, but I loved her sweet potatoes the best, I think. She made good sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. And good arse potatoes. Arse potatoes. Her yeah. arse potatoes, though, were the big, like, me and Paul thought they looked like boats because they were just quartered potatoes, but they were the perfect texture. Like they weren't falling apart, but they wasn't hard. Mm -hmm. She was she was a really, really good cook. I hope you enjoyed seeing how Granny makes her creamed corn. And if you try it, me and Granny hope you like it. Good. Give me the rest of it because you've got the pot to take home. Yeah, I should have told them that. I'm gonna. Granny's gonna let me take the corn home with me. It is really good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just needs a biscuit. Mm -hmm. It'd be good with anything, though. Really. You go go home and make biscuits. No, I'm gonna have Matt's making barbecue, so it'll it'll be have to uh, have to go with barbecue tonight. Barbecue sandwiches. It will and slaw. It'll be good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now one more thing we need to do. You just stand there. Yeah. You know how we're always trying to get a picture. Let's just stand here and you look at that place right there and smile. Yeah. Are you really smiling? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, that should be good. That's a wrap, as Katie says.